Welcome back to a new class. Today we have a slow flow yoga sequence to help you reground both physically and mentally. If you have a strap available, go ahead and place it beside your mat. We will be using it for one pose towards the end and I will be offering modifications in case you don't have a strap. So we'll be starting this class today in child's pose. So bringing the knees as wide as is comfortable, big toes touch. Allow your forehead to soften into the mat and extend the arms straight out in front of you. Really just giving yourself this time here to recenter. So allow your mind to let go of any thoughts that do not bring you here into the present moment. Let go of any to-do lists, any plans, and bring yourself fully into this moment here and now. Take a big breath in through the nose, and exhale out through the mouth. Now bring awareness to your physical body, noticing the parts that are connected to the ground, the fingers, the palms, the elbows, the forehead, the knees, the shins, and the tops of the feet, the toes. Feel yourself completely stable and supported here. Feel yourself grounded. Slowly start to Roll the head from side to side, massaging out the forehead, moving really slowly, just easing into our practice today. And then go ahead and find stillness, walking the hands towards the right side of the mat, placing the left palm on top of the right hand. And then go ahead and walk the hands towards the center of the mat and then all the way over to the left side, placing the right palm on top of the left hand, breathing into that right side body, feeling the ribs expand in all directions. Walking the hands back to center, Coming back through child's pose, then come up high on the fingertips, feel a stretch in the shoulders and the chest, maybe bring your chin to the mat. Taking one more breath, and then pressing into the palms to lift yourself up into tabletop pose, stacking the joints here. And then once you're ready, taking a big breath in as you drop the belly and lift the gaze. Take a breath out as you round through the spine. Inhale, lift the gaze for cow pose. And then exhale, round for cat. So keep moving here at your own pace. Just warming up the spine with a few cat cows. Finding any other organic movement that might serve you here so you can shift the body slowly forwards and backwards, finding spinal waves. You can tuck the toes for a toe stretch. When you're ready, find stillness, so finding a neutral spine. Place the left hand down, reach the right arm up, 
and then thread the right arm underneath the left arm coming in to thread the needle, placing the right side of the cheek on the mat. So the left arm is extended. You can come up high on the left fingertips or you can walk the fingers towards the right corner of the mat, just getting a deeper stretch here. Sitting bones are lifted up towards the sky, feeling a stretch along the back of that right shoulder. Place the left palm underneath the shoulder and then inhale, reach the right arm back up. Exhale, plant it down. Lift the left arm up this time and then thread the left arm underneath the right arm, placing the left cheek on the mat, extending that right arm straight out in front of you. Of course, option to stay here, or you can come up onto the fingertips, walking the fingers towards the left corner of the mat, really getting a nice deep twist here. And coming back to your breath. Gently placing the right palm underneath the shoulder. Lifting the left arm back up. And then placing it down. From here, walk the hands forward keeping the hips over the knees as you press your forearms into the ground and bring your forehead to the ground, coming into extended puppy pose. So pressing the palms into the mat here, opening up the chest, drawing the chest towards the ground and the belly towards the thighs. Sitting bones are lifted. And gently walk the fingertips back as you lift yourself up. Tuck the toes and then lift the hips coming into downward facing dog. Right away finding your foundation here as you spread all 10 fingers nice and wide. Really press into the palms. Let the head and neck rest in between the arms. So finding a nice straight line in the spine. Then inhale high in the toes. As you exhale, sink both heels towards the back right corner of the mat. Just getting a deep side stretch. You can walk out your dog here, bending each knee. And then inhale high in the toes as you come through center. And then exhale, sink the heels towards the left corner of the mat. Maybe bending each leg. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, coming back to a neutral downward facing dog. Now, option to stay here if you feel really supported here in this position. I'm going to offer a twist as a variation. So grounding into the right palm. You're going to thread that left arm across the body, wrapping the fingers and palms around the outer edge of the right ankle, gazing underneath the right armpit, and then place the left palm down. Reach the right arm through and under, wrapping the fingers around the outer edge of the left ankle. Place the right hand back down, coming back to downward facing dog. Inhale, high in the toes, and then walk or step to the top of the mat. Inhale to halfway lift, finding a flat back. You can bring the hands to the shins. And then exhale, fold, releasing the crown of the head to the ground, wrapping the arms around the back of the legs. Take a breath here, grounding down through the feet. And then come into ragdoll pose, so bringing hands to opposite elbows. You can bend through the knees as much as you'd like here, bringing the belly to the thighs, lifting the sitting bones. And 
Notice where the weight is in your feet and see if you can distribute the weight evenly. So between the heels and the balls of the feet. Softening through the face, the jaw, the cheeks. And then release the arms to the ground. Round through the spine, bend into the knees more as you slowly lift yourself up vertebrae by vertebrae until you come standing in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Bring hands to heart center. Closing the eyes for a moment. Take a big breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Gently flutter the eyes open as you bend into the right knee, allowing the hip and the knee to be parallel. And then swing the right leg back as you turn the toes to face the outer edge of the mat, planting that back foot down, coming into warrior two. So hips open towards the long ways of your mat, bending into the left knee, arms are extended. Take one more breath here. Then plant the left elbow down. Reach that right arm up and over, coming into extended side angle. Try not to dump too much weight into that left shoulder. See if you can really press into the left elbow to lift yourself up. And then plant the right hand down. Spin on the back toes as you reach the left arm up. Coming into a high lunge twist. Back leg is active and engaged. Then plant the left hand down inside of the left foot. Drop the back knee, coming into lizard pose. So option to take a few breaths here on the hands. When you're ready, if you'd like, you can come down onto the forearms. Or you can place the left hand on the left knee spinning onto the outer edge of that left foot. So just find whatever variation best supports you here. Whatever makes you feel most grounded. Relax the head and neck. If you're on your forearms, come back onto the palms. Lift the back knee. Tuck the back toe and step the left foot back to meet the right foot. Come down onto the knees, lower yourself all the way down to the ground. Inhale to peel the chest open for baby cobra. And then exhale, release. Coming back through tabletop and then lifting the hips for downward facing dog. From here, gaze at the top of the mat, step or walk to the top. Inhale to halfway lift, and then exhale, fold. This time, bring peace fingers and thumbs, wrapping them around the big toes. Bring the elbows out wide. Bring your forehead to your knees. Lifting the sitting bones up high, feeling a stretch in the back of the legs. Release the fingertips, inhale to halfway lift, exhale, fold, inhale, slowly rise up by sweeping the arms out wide, palms touch overhead, exhale, hands to heart center. Lift the left knee, bending into that knee, Turning the toes out as you step that left foot all the way to the back of the mat, coming into warrior two. Bending into that right knee, make sure the right knee isn't collapsing inwards. Instead, slightly draw it towards the outer edge of the mat. Gazing over the fingertips, feeling rooted and strong here. Then place that right elbow on top of the right thigh as you reach the left arm up and over extended side angle. Feel the stretch along the left side body. 
Again, pressing into that right elbow to lift up out of the shoulder joint. And then place that left arm down. As you spin onto the back toes, reach the right arm up. Coming into a gentle twist. Keep lifting the hips. Back leg is strong. Plant the right hand down inside of the right foot. Coming into lizard pose. Dropping the back knee. Untucking the back toes. Feeling a deep stretch in that left hip flexor and outer right hip. And finding whatever variation works best for you here. Right hand to right knee or coming onto the forearms or simply staying on the hands here as well. Allow your breath to anchor you here. Breathing in and breathing out. If you're on your forearms, come up onto the palms, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, right foot steps back, then drop both knees, lower yourself all the way down to the ground. Inhale for baby cobra as you lift your chest. Exhale, release back down to the mat. Pressing into the palms, coming through tabletop, then lifting the hips for downward facing dog. From here, step the left foot forward at the top of the mat and then walk the fingers facing the long ways of your mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, plant the right hand down as you lift the left arm up, coming into a wide legged twist. Gazing up at the left fingertips. You can have a slight bend in the knees here if that feels better. Placing the left hand down and then reaching the right arm up. Right hand comes down. Make sure the toes are inwards and the heels are outwards. Bring the hands to the hips. Slight bend in the knees as you slowly lift yourself up. This time, interlace fingers behind the low back, drawing a fist as you straighten out the arms. Feel the shoulder blades draw together. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Reaching the crown of the head towards the ground. Feeling a stretch in the back of the hamstrings. Even weight in the feet here. Take one more breath, feeling a deep stretch in the shoulders, and then release the hands to the mat, coming up onto the fingers. Inhale to halfway lift. Then heel toe the feet in. This time heels are going to be in and toes out slightly. Go ahead and bend the knees and sink the hips all the way down, coming into Malasana Yoga Squat. Bring hands to heart center. Gently pressing the elbows into the inner thighs, feeling the hips open. Take one more breath here. Make sure your spine is nice and tall. And then sink the hips all the way down. We're going to come into Gomukhasana or cow face pose. So you're going to extend the left leg straight out in front of you and you're going to cross the right leg over the left so that the right knee is directly on top of the left. Option to keep that left leg straight out and extended if this is a deep enough stretch in your hips. Otherwise, you can bend that bottom leg in slightly coming into the full posture. Go ahead and inhale, lift the left arm up as you bend the elbow. Reach the right arm underneath and around. So the fingers are going to be reaching for each other. It's okay if they don't quite touch. If they do, you can interlace the fingers and then breathe here. Feel a deep stretch in the shoulders. Try to keep the chest nice and open. 
grounding down through the sitting bones, feeling the stretch in the hips as well. Gently release the arms alongside the body. Now you're going to place both hands to the left side of you. Lift the hips up as you turn to face the back of the mat and then walk the fingers all the way to the right side. This time the left leg will be on top of the right leg. So go ahead and sink the hips back down. It's a little bit of a tricky transition there, but it is a little fun. So left leg is bent on top of the right, and you can extend that right leg straight out in front of you if you want to come into the half variation of this. Don't feel like you have to rush into the full posture. Wherever you are is perfectly fine. As you inhale, reach that right arm up, bending the elbow, placing the hand in between the shoulder blades, and then you're going to bend the left elbow in the same way, reaching the fingertips for each other. Breathing here. Taking one more full breath and gently release the hands to the mat. Uncrossing the legs. Coming into butterfly pose, Baddha Konasana, so soles of the feet together, knees bent, heels closer to your body if you'd like a deeper stretch, and then heels further away if you'd like a more gentle approach. Now wrap the peace fingers and the thumbs around the big toes as you inhale to find length in the spine, and then exhale, fold forward, so allowing the upper back to round through. Feeling a stretch in the hips, soften through the face and the jaw. Sometimes we tend to hold tension in other parts of our bodies when we're stretching. Slowly come up out of this pose, draw the knees together, and then extend both legs straight out in front of you. Flex the feet, toes pointed up, coming into Dandasana staff pose. Bring the hands directly beside you towards the outer hips. Straighten out through the arms, finding a nice tall spine. Good, you can find a slight bend to the knees here if that feels better. And then as you inhale, reach both arms up overhead. As you exhale, draw the low belly in towards the spine and forward folds allowing the forehead to reach for the knees, rounding through the spine here, wrapping the fingers or hands around the back of the feet or the legs. Again, you can have a slight bend in the knees here if that feels better. And if you're looking for a deeper stretch in the hamstrings, See if you can lift yourself up slightly. So rather than drawing the forehead to the knees, you're going to think about drawing the low belly towards the thighs. You can gaze at the toes, really finding length in the spine here. Then wherever you are, slowly lift yourself up, bending into the knees as you lower yourself all the way down to the ground. So bringing your spine to the mat, Bending the knees, walking the heels closer towards the hips, so make sure that the fingers can slightly brush the heels here. Feet are hip width distance apart. Extend the arms alongside the body, press into the palms, and then go ahead and lift the hips up, coming into bridge pose. Keep the chin tucked into the chest, keep the gaze looking forward. You can interlace the fingers here if you'd like shimmying the shoulders underneath you to lift the hips up higher. Knees are energetically drawing towards one another, so there's a slight engagement in the thighs and in the glutes. Grounding down through the feet. 
taking one more breath here. Then slowly lower the hips all the way back down to the ground. Taking a breath here, and then you can gently drop the knees to either side of the body, just resetting the sacrum and the low back. When you're ready, finding stillness. And then go ahead and extend the left leg straight out and then hug the right knee into the chest. Take a big breath in here. And then as you exhale, bring that left hand to the outside of the right knee as you twist the right leg across the body bringing the right knee over towards the left side, gazing over the right shoulder. Right arm can come up into a cactus shape. But keep trying to draw the shoulder blades down towards the ground. So option to stay here, or you can bend into the left leg, placing your right hand on top of the left foot, getting a gentle quad stretch. Take two more deep breaths here. Gently release the left foot. If you took that variation, extending the left leg straight out, uncrossing the right leg and hugging the right knee into the chest once more. Now from here, go ahead and grab your strap if you have one. You're going to wrap it around the right foot. Once you have it securely wrapped around the sole of the foot, go ahead and extend the right leg straight out in front of you. Now, if you don't have a strap, you can simply bring peace fingers and thumb and wrap it around the big toe, extend the foot out that way. And it's okay if the, the leg isn't completely straight, you can have a slight bend in the knee here. Or you can simply bring your hands around the back of the right thigh for support. Just getting a gentle stretch in that right hamstring. You can place the left hand on top of the left thigh. Taking one more deep breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly bending into the right knee, removing the strap if you had one, coming into half happy baby, so wrapping the fingers around the outer edge of that right foot, bending that right knee down towards the outer ribs. An option to come onto that left sole of the foot if you like, bending into the left knee. When you're ready, slowly release the right foot down, and then extend the right leg, hugging the left knee into the chest. Take a big breath in, and then as you exhale, bring the right hand to the outer edge of the left knee, finding a twist. So left knee comes to the right side of the mat as you gaze over the left shoulder, drawing the shoulder blades down into the ground, getting a nice deep twist. Left hand extended out to the side, and then option to bend into that right knee, placing the left hand on top of the right foot. Take one more breath here. Gently release that right foot, extending it straight out in front of you, drawing the left knee back into the chest. Now grabbing your strap if you have one, wrapping it around the sole of that left foot. Or you can bring peace finger and thumb, wrap it around the big toe. And go ahead and straighten out the left leg as much as you can. You can also bring the arms around the back of the thigh for support here as well. 
right hand can be placed on the right thigh. And just breathe here. When you're ready, bend into the left knee, removing any straps. Coming into half happy baby. Fingers wrap around the outer edge of that left foot. Option to bend into the right knee here as well. Drop the left sole of the foot down. So both knees are bent here. Then go ahead and scoot all the way down to the bottom of the mat. We're going to come into a next pose that might require you to have a little more room above your head. So we're going to be coming into shoulder stand. If you have any type of neck pain or neck injuries, you're going to want to skip this pose. Instead, you can find a modification by extending the legs straight up in the air to find a nice simple inversion. And you can also do this with your legs against the wall as well. So if you're coming into the full variation of shoulder stand, go ahead and draw the knees into the chest pressing your palms into the ground and then roll the knees so that they're above the forehead so your glutes and your low back should be lifted up off of the mat and then you're going to bring your hands underneath the low back for support so you're going to shimmy your shoulders underneath so that the elbows are underneath the hips and then you're going to straighten out the legs so coming into a supported shoulder stand keeping the chin tucked into the chest and keep your gaze straight so try not to look side to side keep the gaze steady here to reduce strain in the neck so you have the option to stay here and shoulder stand or you can come into plow pose so you're going to gently lower the legs behind the head here so reaching the legs back so that the toes eventually meet the ground behind you. Now, if your toes don't reach, that's okay. You can allow them to hover here. Keep the hands underneath the low back for support. If your toes touch the ground, you can interlace the fingers here and breathe. It's really important to keep the breath steady. Now, from here, you can come into ear pressure pose by bending the knees and bringing the knees directly behind the shoulders so just an option here you don't have to take it bringing the hands to the low back breathing wherever you are so whether you have the legs lifted or you're still in shoulder stand keep the breath nice and steady and whenever you're ready at your own time you can slowly come out of the pose by bringing the knees back above the forehead and then slowly vertebrae by vertebrae, lowering the low back to the ground, the hips to the ground, bending the knees and eventually the soles of the feet will come back down as well. Taking a few moments to readjust here, spine on the ground. And then we'll move into our final resting pose. If there's any other posture you'd like to come into before we end the class, feel free to go there. Otherwise, you're going to extend the legs straight out in front of you, or you can come into reclined butterfly with the soles of the feet together, knees bent for one last hip opener. And then rest the left palm over the heart and the right palm on the low belly. Take a big breath in through the nose, hold it at the top, and then exhale, big sigh out through the mouth. Close your eyes if they're not yet closed already. Feel your body soften. Bringing awareness back to your physical body. 
And again, just noticing the parts that are connected to the ground. The sides of the feet, the toes, the outside of the legs, or maybe the back of the legs, the thighs, the hips, the glutes, the low back, mid-back. Feel the shoulder blades sinking into the ground. Feel the arms grow heavy here. Relax the shoulders. Relax the head and neck. Let go of any tension in the face. Closing the mouth but parting the teeth. Relaxing the tongue, the cheeks, the jaw. Allowing the eyes to become heavy in its sockets. And softening in the eyebrows, the space in between the eyebrows. And then feeling your body as a whole become soft and relaxed. Feeling a sense of ease and grounding. Take a few more breaths here on your own. Settling into this feeling. You can start to find small movements, waking up the body, stretching the arms up overhead, maybe stretching the legs, till eventually you roll onto one side of your body, coming into a fetal position, resting here for one moment. Taking a breath here, and then on your next inhale, slowly lift yourself up and come into a seated position. Right away, bringing hands to heart center, pressing the thumbs against the chest. Reconnecting to this sense of rooting down, feeling connected, stable, and grounded. Bring the thumbs to the forehead and together we'll bow our heads. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this class today. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.